Hi guys, I did a video on my everyday makeup routine literally almost a year ago. That video did is so insane. It has almost a million views, which is fucking crazy to me. I literally wear makeup like once or twice a week now. So I don't necessarily have like a routine that I use every single day, but I do have kind of my go-to makeup look. But in general, I feel like my style of makeup kind of changed and I kind of evolved. So I wanted to film an updated makeup routine video for you guys and yeah that's what i'm doing i literally cannot believe that video did so well it's still like unreal to me let me go ahead and get started with my makeup i have like whew, i have like my makeup bag with my go-to products and then i also have this little thing with some extra products that i like to kind of switch out all of my brushes are clean i cleaned these like two days ago my sponges are clean i don't know if i'm gonna use these but i got clean brushes so i'm excited to do my makeup let's get started Maybe not. I'm having a good skin day, so that's always nice when I do my makeup. <laughs> For my primer, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer and the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in number six. I used the Charlotte Tilbury. I remember using it and thinking it was supposed to be a foundation. I was like, what? This makes no sense, but I definitely enjoy a dewy natural makeup look. My makeup has evolved so much over the years. I went from like matte full coverage, like glam to whatever I'm doing now. Two different foundations that i have so i still love the dior backstage foundation and i also like the giorgio Armani luminous silk one i'm not gonna put on foundation today i feel like foundation i more so use during the winter especially because then i get like pale and stuff but during the summer i just don't really wear foundation so we're gonna skip foundation but these are my two favorites at the moment also i'm gonna have links to every product i'm mentioning in the description so you don't have to worry about that and you can shop using those links um most of them will be affiliated but it will help me out and i can continue creating these videos for you guys what i'm gonna do next is concealer i'm gonna use the Too faced born this way in warm sand and then just underneath my eyes i'm gonna use the nyx born to glow in beige this is kind of like a yellow type of concealer like the color is very yellow which is why i like using it it's super light but it brightens up so much that i love it and i'm pretty sure they don't sell this in my country anymore i don't know if you can get this anywhere else i obviously will try to get a link once i run out of this i'm it's gonna be gone and i'm gonna have to figure out a way to get this because i love this shit i've loved that concealer for many many years same goes for this one i feel like i really don't change up product as often especially when it comes to concealers because once something works for me i like to just stick to it so i'm gonna take the concealer i have some hyperpigmentation around my mouth it's something i'm trying to work on embracing and not covering up but whenever i put on makeup i do like to cover literally just right there just kind of brighten up my top lip and i'm gonna leave this alone because as soon as i bring it over here it just looks really ashy and i don't like that I'm just going to blend this out with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I love having clean brushes, but I hate cleaning them. It takes forever. I guess you could call this kind of like the clean girl makeup. I'm not going to title it that because I kind of think the title is weird, even though like I... I mean, I don't really get what a clean girl is. I think clean girl makeup is kind of a weird name, but this is kind of considered the clean girl makeup, I think. Before I finish my under eyes, I'm going to add some color to my face. I have a cream bronzer that I really enjoy, which is the Milk Bionic Bronzer. I think this is really, really good stuff. I think it just looks really natural as well. You're able to blend it out quite easily. I like to use quite a bit. I'm going to pop some on my nose. I'm going to try this stipple brush, but I don't know if it's going to look good it's also from real techniques i'm gonna go back in with a powder bronzer after but i like kind of using this for the base oh it actually blends really nice with a stippling brush as you can tell and this is also like so nice to use on like no makeup days so even if you're not wearing anything on your face this will look so good and so natural okay so i really love using cream blush these are my two favorites. I love using NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And then I also have this Charlotte Tilbury Lip and Cheek Glow in Color, color of Dreams, I think. It's a bit darker like that. I'm actually going to take that on the stippling brush as well. The Charlotte Tilbury one and just kind of stipple that on. Look at that color. It's so pretty. Kind of like that. I'm gonna do my brows first before I finish my concealer. My current favorite brow product is the Anastasia 
brow powder just because I like for my brows to look natural and I feel like this product just does it for me. I go through different phases with my brows where I like them more defined but currently I've just been enjoying kind of filling in the natural shape and I don't even really use concealer to carve them out anymore. I just kind of leave it as it is and add some brow gel and we're good. And I use this little Benefit double-ended brush with a angled little brush and then a spoolie on the other side and it works perfect. And I use this one in the color Ebony. I usually use the darker color because I feel like the other color is a bit too warm. If I'm having like a no makeup day and I don't fill in my brows, I like to use the Anastasia Brow Freeze to do a little like, almost kind of looks like the soap brow thing, but using that and it's also great. But for these makeup looks, I just go in with a regular brow gel. I'm going to take this concealer and I'm going to pop a little bit just right there. That's it. Literally the tiniest bit because you can tell it's really, really light. And then before I blend it out, I'm going to prep so I can set it after I blend it. To blend it out, I'm going to use this Morphe little brush. I love that my brushes are clean. This is the M173 and then this Morphe Ariel brush, which I'm going to use to set my concealer. And the powder I'm going to use to set it, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in Medium. I really try to keep it like in this area and sometimes I'll kind of take it along my nose bridge like this. But I try to really keep it in this section right here because this is where I need the brightening effect. And then I'm going to go in and pat this powder on top. I really like put a shit ton on there because I do crease under my eyes. So I need to set this really well. Do you see how that brightens? Like it's fucking insane. Okay. I'm just going to take the excess off my brush. I can't remember if I, oh my eyes. I can't remember if I wore lash extensions last year. I don't think I did. Cannot live without them. I'm now gonna go in with a bronzer, a powder bronzer. So I've been using this Dior face and body powder, no powder. This was called in Fife Neutral. And just use it to bronze, like, with makeup, I've really realized there's no like one way to contour your face. You really need to figure out what your face shape is and what looks most flattering. I don't necessarily like cut this part. I kind of just add some more on the side because it looks good. And I can go quite crazy with this because it's literally just a powder and it will look super natural. I'm also going to take this on my eyes just with a little like fluffy brush, like a random fluffy brush. And I'm going to use a small little brush using this Huda Beauty chocolate brown palette. I'm just going to take a little bit on my lower lash line right here. Add a little bit of depth on the outer corner, but leaving like the brightness right here. I'm going to go in with a powder blush because I need to bring back my color. I have a few blushes that I've been enjoying lately. Dior Backstage. I think I'm going to wear this today. I also have two Benefit blushes that I really like, just depending on what color I'm going for. I will have these linked down below. Depends on the mood. And then I have this one from Kiko, which is also cute. Yeah, I'm going to go in with the Dior one today. Just popping that where I put the cream blush. I like to go in and do a little bit of extra contouring with the Hoola Toasted Bronzer. So what I will do is I'll just take a little fluffy brush. And the way that I contour my nose, I have to show you guys because I feel like I have mastered my nose contour. So I will place like a darker contour right here. You see that? Just by doing this, it creates this like button shape of my nose. This is a very dark bronzer, so I use a light hand, but I kind of just... The brush that I use to powder my under eyes and I just kind of clean up whatever I want to clean up. That's kind of my nose contour. Um, and then I am going to add highlight to kind of accentuate my bridge again but again like i said you really have to figure out your own face shape no shape and stuff to figure out how you want to contour it because just following like everyone's contour routine is not necessarily going to look good on you period like it's what it is <laughs> i'm gonna spray on some tatcha luminous dewy skin mist this has been my favorite thing in the world just love and you really don't need a lot this is just going to bring back your makeup, especially if you've been using powder. The two highlighters that are my favorite is the Bare Minerals Free. This is like very gold. I also like the Becca, oh, it broke. Oh my God. This is the Becca Champagne Pop. I still own it. It's broken. Is Becca completely discontinued now? 
I think so. Oh, and I also love this Huda Beauty little palette. This one has like darker shades, so I'm actually gonna take that first on this like fluffy brush. I'm swirling all the colors, and I just kind of plop this like on top of my shit. Like, I don't know. I like what it does. And then I'm gonna take a smaller little brush and do some highlighting. Maybe we should add a little bit more eyeshadow. This palette again and take the brown color and just pop it in my crease because I feel like I need to darken it up a little bit. That looks better. Oh, I forgot to say, I also love using this Fenty Beauty Match Stick and Truffle. I've really been loving this. I'm gonna pop on the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Like I said, I like to just use a simple brow gel and this has not filled me for many years. Still a holy grail. I'm going to spray on Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. This is, again, holy grail. So good. I always like to draw on like beauty spots and some that I already have kind of bring them back because they get covered with makeup. I've been using Freck for many, many years, but I actually ran out of it and I haven't gotten my new one yet. So I got this Revolution Freckle Pen in PR. So I'm just gonna give it a try. I think it should work. I've also used like eyeliner recently, but it was like very dark. This works as well. I like using stuff like this to cover like pimples. If you wanna disguise them, just turn them into like a freckle or like a beauty spot. I'm very excited to share my go-to lip balm with you guys because I recently put it on and I was like, this looks so fucking good. Um, before I do that though, I'm gonna put on some mascara. This is the RM Beauty Volumizing Mascara. I need to sharpen this pencil, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Foxy Brown. These are really hard to sharpen. I don't know if you're meant to, but... Oh, it just broke off. Are you meant to sharpen these or no? Because I... I feel like you are, but maybe my sharpener isn't good enough. Okay. Mm, I like to overline this is not fucking working so i overline and then i blend i try to keep the top part a bit darker that way i have more shape to my lips as well as down here and then just blending it out onto my lips benefit Benetton. Pop this all over. Then I'm gonna go in with my REM Beauty Plumping Lip Gloss. Any clear gloss will work really. Um, this is my current favorite, so I need to get some more. Period. Period. Fucking looks so fucking good. I'm gonna make my brows a little bit darker. If the color and like the skin underneath your eyebrows is a lot lighter than the rest of your face, just put some of your bronzer like on top of your brows. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. Looks better now. Mm, I think that's all for my makeup. This is my kind of everyday go-to look now compared to last year. Let me know what you think of it. Even though my makeup last year was really cute as well, I think this looks better on me personally. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.